Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this series, we're going to be going over Gatsby JS, which is a static site generator built using a bunch of really cool tools like React, GraphQL, Webpack, and basically a whole bunch of the new cool stuff all wrapped up in a really excellent static site generator with a ton of great plugins and really, really cool ideas. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can install Gatsby, how you can create your first site and how we can get started. So let's get going right now. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you Gatsby JS. Now we've gone over Gatsby in a couple of the live streams and stuff like that. You've seen it a little bit. However, we wanted to do a full on tutorial series, and this is going to be a totally free one on the channel here. And we're going to cover all sorts of stuff, building even up to a blog using some of the um, different plugins that Gatsby has available. Maybe I'll even try doing one of the WordPress examples later on if there's enough interest for it. So so as you can see here, we're at gatsbyjs.org and you might be wondering, what is this? What's it about? Why do I want to use it? Well, it's, as you can see, a blazing fast static site generator for React. So if you're a React person, you like working in React, which I, I certainly do myself, um, it's a great way to build fast, fast, fast static sites without a database or a back end. Now, one of the most uh, prominent comments I got on the previous videos was, well, why not just use Jekyll, which is another static site generator? Well, it's really just different flavors. It's different flavors of the same type of thing, right? So Jekyll is actually a Ruby-based generator here. So that means you would have to be a little bit experienced with the Ruby uh, platform. You can see we're installing with using Ruby gems and then you're generating it that way. Uh, it's not a huge distinction, not a huge problem there, but it is something to notice. This Gatsby is entirely node based. Uh, in addition, Gatsby is entirely tied in really tightly to React. So if you like using React and you want to build a static site, I don't think there's a better option than, than using Gatsby here, especially with the different starting kits and stuff like that you have to get up and running. Uh, what else is awesome about it? Well, if we scroll down here, you can see that we have a whole bunch of uh, nice little uh, uh, graphs and diagrams here. Basically, we have several different ways we can get data into Gatsby very easily. So content management systems like Contentful, Drupal, WordPress, or Markdown, where you have just straight Markdown files, or even APIs like uh, a JSON API and whatever. And it's coming in through GraphQL and then coming into your HTML, CSS, and obviously React. And this whole thing generates the site into actual static files that use the JavaScript when it needs to, but loads really quickly because it's initially loading just straight up HTML files. Now keep in mind, there is no database associated with this. So you're going to want to, uh, if you have some sort of data requirement, you're going to want to have some sort of ability to add data, such as through a CMS backend, like Contentful, Drupal, WordPress, blah, 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 or um, even just these markdown files. So it, it really depends on what you're after. But if you're building a blog and you're techie, this is a great way to do it. If you're building a blog and you're not or your users are not techie, then maybe you could use something like Contentful or WordPress to bring in data. Either way here, it's a really great way to build really awesome, fast, progressive web apps with uh, just basically the tools that you're used to in React, Webpack, React Router, all that stuff. Okay, so as an intro here, uh, this is basically why we're going to want to use it. Um, it's tied in really nicely to the tools that we know and love, and it's very super fast. Uses all the fancy new stuff. So let's go ahead and get started by installing it. Keep in mind, this tutorial is going to assume that you have a little bit of React knowledge. I can sort of explain what I'm going and doing as I'm doing it. It's also going to assume that you have Node.js installed on your computer. So go ahead and install Node. If you are not running the latest version, please upgrade because I believe Gatsby needs the latest stuff. Uh, so upgrade your version of Node. Good to do anyways. And let's get started. The first thing you need to do is head to the docs page on gatsbyjs.org and we want to run npm install 
glo- hyphen hyphen global Gatsby CLI. Um, you can just copy this directly from here, right? So you just copy this, head to your terminal, paste it in, and this will install Gatsby globally for you. So go ahead and run that, pause the video, and wait for it to finish. Okay, so now that we have Gatsby installed here, wherever you're interested in your site living, we can run it. Uh, just basically, now that we have the Gatsby CLI or command line interface installed, we can run Gatsby new and then whatever the name of our site's going to be. So we can just say Gatsby um, L-O-L-U-T. You can name this whatever you want. This is a level up tight site. Basically, I'm just going to just show off how awesome this little build tool is here. So Gatsby new, Gatsby uh, whatever you want your site to be named. It's going to create everything for you. And again, just sort of hang out while this downloads and installs everything and restart the video once yours has finished installing. Okay, so we have everything. You can see it added a whole bunch of packages and uh, it took 42 seconds. It's okay because it did a whole lot for us. So what we wanna do is change directories into our site now. So I'm going to CD and then level, uh, or I believe it was Gatsby LUT, okay. Okay, so now I'm inside of my project directory. I can just simply type Gatsby and then develop. Okay, and this is going to start up our server and get everything all running. You can see it's uh, loading up our files. It's basically, it's just getting everything up and running. You can see it's done compiled and we are able to view our site at localhost port 8000 and our GraphQL debugger is at the same um, the forward slash underscore 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 GraphQL. No, we're not gonna be doing any GraphQL stuff right now, but we will be soon. So no worries there. I'll go over a little bit about that as we do it. As you can see here on localhost port 8000, we now have a new website that says Gatsby. We have hi people, welcome to our new Gatsby site, back to home page. You can see how blazingly fast this routing is. I mean, this is just really, really awesome stuff here. Obviously we're doing a mix of JavaScript using React to generate these pages as well as loading up statically generated HTML. So basically here's how it goes. When you arrive at the site, this site is actually an HTML page, just like it would be if you hand coded in HTML. Simultaneously, the site is also loading your JavaScript bundles so that it knows how to handle things like page routing and rendering of other pages. So basically you get the best of both worlds where you get a really fast static site as well as uh, you get the dynamic ability of React. In fact, we could throw standard React components all over this thing and we're still going to have it work correctly as it's statically generated. So you don't, you could have dynamic content within your static site. Part of the reason why this platform is really super nice. Okay, so now that we have this up and running, in the next video, I'm going to go over the code, sort of what you get when you get up and running with Gatsby and what we can expect going forward, maybe make some modifications here or there, but basically just give a lay of the land here and understand what's happening. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, leave a question or comment on the video. I'll do my best to get to those. Um, you can always hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. Head to leveluptutorials.com forward slash store to check out all of the awesome things I have for sale there. Uh, basically, a purchasing series helps us keep going with free series as well as premium content. If you're interested in subscribing and getting all of this stuff for free streaming, month over month with all the new stuff that comes out, you can become a Level Up Pro. Now keep in mind the current price for Level Up Pro is $8.99 a month. However, that price is going up as the amount of new content is coming in. So this month, the price will be going up. So if you want to get in now and stay in, uh, sign up now, uh, become a Level Up Pro. It's leveluptutorials.com slash pro. You can see all the benefits right here. There is a ton of exclusive content. And like I said, get in now before the price is going up later this month, which is August, 2017. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.